Hello and welcome back here to the channel. I'm Human Rabbit. We are taking a look at Dai Ushihara's 2021 livery on his turn 14 distribution BRZ. And we are sitting in front of Worldwide Technology Raceway here in Torque Drift. So we're going to take a look at that stuff here for today. Make sure you guys follow me on all social media. All that you're found in the description box below. So just got back from FD St. Louis. It was definitely an amazing event, a hot event. We're going to get more and more details throughout the week about the experiences and things that I had going on during Worldwide Technology Raceways round of St. Louis FD. So let's uh, get into this. We're going to be driving Daishio's car here on the FD Pro Course. So we are on the controller, so let's hope we can actually uh, accomplish this. Without too much trouble. Initiate in. Oh, way shallow there. I was doing this throughout the event on my phone while we were at the raceway. And it was much easier on my phone, obviously, because you know my controller is not the best, and we shot that out way too wide. So, St. Louis, definitely a fun track and was definitely an amazing event. We're going to retry that in Dyshara's car. But this FD track is not an easy track to accomplish. It is very technical in its own aspect as well as fast. So well, that's that's pretty good. Now we want to put this seat. I always miss that first one because I try and hang it out too long. And this is to get the angle correctly to get all of those is quite challenging. That was a much better run. We're actually gonna try and chase that without. It's much better run. So we're going to go chase it down, but we're going to change cars. We're going to chase it down with Odibakshi's car and see what we can do here. Like I said, it definitely was a fun event. Had a lot of uh, fun experiences and stuff, meeting some fans and some subscribers and stuff like that. It was also a very crazy event with everything that happened. <laughs> can we retry that? I cut that a little bit too in. Well, like I said, it was a lot of fun meeting some of you guys and everything, and also getting to meet up with some of the energy innovation staff that I've drifted with online in the Mod Series. Oh, always great to see energy fam. We're going to pump that inside clip like they were doing all of that. Trying to stay in the door. We cut that a little bit short, kind of like some people were doing at the actual event. So it's definitely crazy to drive these tracks after being at the actual event. That was not a bad run by any means now i wish i could actually get tandems but i believe the tandem for this track is over with since like i said we are back and it is not up in there at all but can we do this stuff so we did get the first sponsor progression um so we did get the title for of course you know fd right uh, where to go right here crossroads we did get the crossroads we do have the borderlands and we do have the scorched but of course we're rocking my own official evil rabbit one but we did get the original crossroads thing so let's go take a look at maybe doing some of the increase so it looks like we're going to be running jonathan nair's car the increase on these challenges is definitely uh Harder and harder as it progress. Get in there. Oh, Nair's car. This one's a little bit different because it's not the actual FD section. Or the pro section. Yeah, we're going to have to. Oh, we're nowhere near that 50k. Oh, and they have a wall there, too. We're going to have to retry that. So, I do like running the pro course. That is my favorite one because it, well, mimics the actual FD course. Let's see if we can't get some good points here. No! I'm gonna hold that out though. Really aggressive click. Okay. I mean, this is not looking too terrible for this 50,000 point chase or 50,000 point lead. Let's get the clean lead. We got it. So we managed to complete that first one in our gift the boosted level of this 
sponsorship tree, chase score of 20k. All right, we're just gonna go full send. What car are we running? So we do get to pick a car. We're chasing against Yoshihara. So let's just do what we were doing. Buddy Boxy's car, but we are on a different track on the inside of this course. Oh, I don't remember this track. We're all over the place. Probably should have been fourth gear. Oh, is this just, okay, so is this just a small sweeper with that inner? So we're gonna try and retry that. Let's see if we can't get this. Stay within the tandem circle. Don't lose Yoshihara. Catch up close. Oh, we got it. 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 Nice and tight on Yoshihara's door. Let's do that section. Definitely been having a lot of fun with all the new content that Torchrift's bringing out and all of this. It was great to see, you know, the Torchrift banner when I was there. You know, if you guys caught the Instagram post, you know, I was playing Torchrift throughout the week while I was there and got a chance to battle some people and get stuff going on here at, you know, the Worldwide Technology Raceway here in the game. The FD track backwards. Drift for 325 meters, so we should just have to stay in drift. We should be able to get it with Adam LZ Vest 15. Uh, just barely, but we did get it. Banging out these sponsorship things one by one really quickly, which if you guys know, this is not often something I do. I usually mess up a lot. Red Dan Burkett and his Supra. 18 clipping points in a combo. Um, I'm not sure what course we're running, so... Get where my clutch kick button is. Nope, that's for you. Get back to the view. So we're gonna give that another shot. I keep changing views. I keep forgetting where my clutch kick button is. I think it's forward on that joystick for this one. So I think we need to go up into fourth gear. time on a controller and I think it's because of the gearing and everything but it's also because I try to I try to counter way more than I need to so I tend to lose control of the car really quickly unlike when I'm on a mobile it's a little bit easier for me to manage my angle and also I know how to clutch kick on mobile I have a problem apparently clutch kicking here on controller That is a small board. Like, we really have to grip the whole track without, yeah, without actually coming to a stop. So I think we are going to go back to the main menu. And we're going to take a look at our garage and see where we're at. Because you notice we have a lot of money. So we're going to go to our sponsors, of course. we got to get our sponsors selected. Mine, NRG, and of course... HK. So we're going to see where we're at in the garage and what we should be building up. Because I know we did bring back the E46. 
Because you notice we have all pro cars. And we have an E46. So we're going to be building the E46 up. So we need to, of course, go buy parts for it. So we need to go to the parts shop. But I believe we have some crates to open. So let's open these 10 crates to end this episode off. And see what we can get for the E46. What we get. Oh, that is a huge pull. Some pro four piston calipers for the E46. That's a big, big pull. I like seeing that purple stage two out the right DCU. Okay, we'll take that. Import RB26. We'll take that as well. Any parts we can get before to put onto this car aftermarket turbo and you know that those brakes were a big goal as well as that engine so far Shimoto intercooler because I don't believe we started to build it at all so this is the start of the E46 build since we have plenty of money to go with an import angle kit that is a huge pull that's going to be very helpful because we need the kit anyways. Another blue one, what do we got? M40 CU. Final two pulls, we got some green stuff, some alloy wheels, and some more money. Final pull for today's episode. We got more green, what do we got? We got some field suspension. So, let's go put some of these parts on this car. Um, so we need to go and tune this because this is how we put parts on, you know, it's definitely with the change of how everything. So we did get some new field suspension. So we're going to rock the field suspension because I do like field suspension a little bit more. I'm going to lower that and we're going to soften that up a little bit and then we're going to go back we need to go back one and then we need to get the angle kit installed on and of course we got to bump that steering lock up as far as we can go we'll leave that how that is and then we need to throw on them pro brakes it's definitely great to uh, have a really big brake kit on this car already suspension so we're gonna throw the fields is on and then soften those up, soften it up a little more. And we're going to go through and actually tune it a little bit more once we get fully into this build. And then I don't think we have anything else to install. Nope. So we're going to go back up front to the engine goodies. So we did pull a pro engine. So we are going to install that engine. And then we did pull a turbo. We're going to install that. And then ECU, we pulled a pro ECU. And then intake was stock. It was the intercooler we pulled. We're going to throw on that one. And then just sell that one off. So that's the start of the build. So make sure you guys follow me on all social media. All the follow in the description box below. More Torque Drift coming because we're going to build this E46 back up. So make sure you follow me on all social media. And as always, I like, thank you guys for coming back and watching. I'll see you guys on the track.